A semi-truck driver shot dead by another semi-driver after an incident police say was related to road rage. Tonight, the search continues for the man who pulled the trigger. Police say the shooting happened when one of the truck drivers bumped the other while driving along I-10. It was originally believed to be a crash, but has since turned into a murder investigation. The call for the crash came in just before 2 this afternoon on I-10 eastbound, just west of Chafee Road. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder joins us live from the sheriff's office with more on who police are looking for tonight. Nicole. Ethan, at this point, investigators know that this was a brief altercation that turned deadly on the highway. Tonight, they're looking for the driver of the semi-truck who shot and killed another and then took off. Police say the driver of this semi-truck was found shot to death in the cab after he was involved in a road rage incident. At some point, there was some type of dispute. The two actually bumped, according to witnesses. And then the victim veered off into the off the roadway into the woods. Investigators say the two men were driving down I-10 eastbound when the quick altercation took place. Police say after the drivers bumped into each other, one of the drivers shot and killed the other. Investigators say the man who killed the other driver took off on I-10 after shooting him. That truck is described as a orange cab in the mid 2000s, early 2000s Freightliner with a white trailer. The driver of that cab appeared to be a black male with a beard. Police say the victim is a white male in his 40s and he appeared to work for a private contractor. Somebody cutting someone else off, if that's even what happened that caused this, we don't know. It's not worth somebody losing their lives. The homicide unit is trying to get a better idea of what happened on the highway leading up to the deadly shooting. They'll do an extensive uh, detailed mapping of, of the area and the scene. We'll download the uh, these trucks and cars have black boxes. We'll be able to download that information as well. Hopefully it gives a better understanding of what speeds they were going, when impact may have occurred. Again, police are looking for this semi truck driver in an early 2000s, mid 2000s semi truck with a dull orange cab and white trailer. FHP and way stations are alerted. And right now, police haven't released the identity of that victim because they're in the process of contacting family. But of course, if you have any information or you see that vehicle anywhere, please call police. Reporting live from JSO, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Nicole. And for some perspective, this is the third road rage incident in Northeast Florida just this year. On February 15th, Gary Seiler was arrested after police say he pointed a gun at a woman who was sitting in her car with her children. That was in Putnam County. On January 25th, police say Tyler Ennis stabbed a U.S. Marine in a road rage confrontation down in Clay County. And in September of last year, investigators say Christopher Tate fired four shots at another car also in Clay County.